Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Frugal from impossiblyfrugal.com and today I'm here to help you plan an inexpensive summer vacation. All right, so if you have kids and they're out of school, they are undoubtedly already hounding you about what you and your family are gonna be doing for summer vacation this year. And if you're like me and trying to be frugal and save as much money as possible, you're probably thinking that summer vacation is not in the cards for you and your family. There are quite a few things that you can do um, that are really fun, that you can have a great summer vacation with your family uh, that don't cost anything or cost very little. And so the first option that I'd like to bring up to you is to travel locally or be a local tourist. I know personally that I talk to my husband regularly and we see places or restaurants or parks or new attractions and we always say to each other, oh, we wanna go there one day or we wanna go visit when we have a chance. And we just never do and it kind of passes us by. And so when you wanna plan a summer vacation, it can be something as simple as going to a place you've always wanted to go to locally um, and enjoying that experience for the day. It doesn't have to be a week long or a weekend long thing. It can just be enjoying the day at a local place that you've always wanted to try out or always wanted to go to. And so an example of this that my husband and I did is uh, we recently went to Dinosaur World. Um, that was a place that we've always wanted to go to and um, it's not too far from us here in Central Florida. It's just in Plant City. And um, we took the drive over there for about an hour. We discovered that you can bring your pets with you to Dinosaur World, which is really cool. Uh, so we brought our dogs with us as well and uh, made a day trip out of it. We drove there, took about an hour, spent the day there, had lunch, uh, checked out all the cool exhibits, and then drove home. So it was a really fun thing for us to do. Um, we took lots of pictures and had a great time, just the two of us with our dogs uh, spending the day together. And it seemed like its own little mini vacation which was great. Another great option to have a fun and inexpensive summer vacation is to visit national or local parks that you have. Um, you know those are very inexpensive to go to. I know over by us there's a state park here um, that we've been to a few times and they just charge per vehicle so um, it's just I think I think it was two dollars per vehicle for us to get in and so you can fill that vehicle up with as many family members as you have you know if you're a family of four family of six um, all of you can fit into that vehicle and you just pay the two dollar entry fee and you can spend the whole day there and I know the state park near us um, has horseback riding canoeing kayaking trails they also do guided um, trail walks uh, where they show you the um, flora and fauna, uh, bird watching, tons of fun things that you can do and spend the day there. Um, also camping at the park here, you can go camping, which I think would be a lot of fun. We haven't done that yet, but also a very inexpensive uh, summer vacation idea or fun thing for your family to do. And if you're thinking it's way too hot for me to be outside, and for uh, me to be camping or anything like that. I live in Florida and it is hot and you can do it. We've done it and it's a lot of fun and you just make sure you're hydrated, have sunscreen, and um, I'm kind of used to it down here anyways. Another thing that you can do is um, to visit friends and family. So you know you always have that aunt or that uncle or that grandparent that is bothering you, that you never come to see them, um, or that they really wanna get together with you. Well, summer is the perfect time to do that. Um, give them a call, say you'd love to come visit this summer, and make plans to go visit them wherever they are. Um, you know, if they're, if they're local in the same state, great you can drive over to them um, and kind of make plans for them to show you around what area they're in if they're out of state same you can make a road trip out of it and drive out of state to visit with them what's even better is if they're a close friend or family they may even let you stay the night with them in their house and so then you eliminate any expenses for hotels and overnight stays um, if it's a place you need to fly to uh, that's pretty far you know again you may have to to spend money for a flight 
but you can um, shop around for good flight deals and be flexible with your dates to get the best deal possible on the flight. And again, if they're letting you stay with you, that could be the only expense that you really have. So that's a great option. I know me personally, my husband and I, we have family in Tennessee. I have family in New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey. I even have family in Germany. Um, and that's actually part of the reason why um, in October we're gonna be visiting them uh, in Germany and spending time with them. You know, having family somewhere and being able to stay with them and have them show you around significantly reduces um, your expenses associated with that trip. Uh, so that's a great way uh, to turn something like that into a vacation as well. Those are just a few fun things you can do this summer without spending a lot of money and uh, get your family out of the house, get them to spend some time together and have fun. So I hope those ideas and suggestions help you in planning your next summer vacation um, and give you some ideas of things to do this summer. As always, if you like our content, please subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all of those great places. And I look forward to talking to you more in the next video.